Writers of the Apocalypse, we welcome you to our weekly show. When you leave a comment competing for the best comment of the week, don't forget to include your account name with all the right capital and lowercase letters so that we can find you and give you your well-earned goal. In this episode, use the environment. Down you go. It's not about the size. I go smash. In order to defeat your enemies, sometimes you have to use the world around you. At this point, every raider and their mother know everything about using cover and jumping off cliffs, but Exo Hit You Hard came up with something fresh. The player hits an enemy with a harpoon, drags them to a geyser, and then watches as they're being flipped over by the power of nature. When they're on their roof, they're much easier to deal with, you know? Tricks like that are also worthy of a lot of money. Here's your gold survivor. Anyone can push an opponent into the pit, but can you do it with just a harpoon? It's harder than it looks, but not for Simbo Forka. While running away from a pursuing vehicle, the player slowed down a bit, allowed the opponent to close the distance, and then proceeded to hit them with a harpoon and yank them down into the bottomless void. Goodbye, friend. Simbo Forka might be good at tossing people into the pit, but we know the ultimate trick, using harpoons to throw money at people. 1,000 gold is on its way. The size of your car is quite important in a lot of ways, but any vehicle, however small, can win the fight if it's in the hands of an experienced survivor. Harbisonel knows this better than anyone. He goes into PvE in a car that is barely there and then uses it with great success on all stages of the raid, actively clearing objectives and engaging enemies. This little fellow is clearly not afraid of confrontation. It's no wonder that their team won and he himself earned 1,000 gold at the Crossout Show. Congratulations! Cars that can actually fly are not super common in the wastes. Rocket boosters eat so much energy that you barely have any left for your weapons or other equipment. But that was hardly a deterrent for Chris Jarvis, who went all in on their flying car. The idea is rather simple. Why would you want a weapon if you could simply grab an enemy take them to the skies with you, and then smash them into stuff. It's awesome and also profitable. 1,000 gold goes straight to Chris Jarvis. And now it's time to pick the best comment of the past week. 